All right, here we go. We are live. Hello, ladies and gentlemen of the comic book world. My name is Chris, and this is my channel, We Love Comics. It is exactly 2 p.m. Eastern Time on the 14th of April, 2019, one day away from tax day. Hopefully, all of you out there have filed your taxes and been good little boys and girls, and hopefully you'll get some nice refunds this year. Me being an independent contractor, I pay, so I'm not looking forward to it as much as some people are, but it is what it is. Welcome, everybody. Uh, I want to say hello to the people that just get here when I put this up, so if you comment early, you will get a shout-out, and I always do a shout-out at the end, so make sure you stick around until then. So let's say uh, hello to Autumn Dog Comics, who says, good morning, Chris, or well, good afternoon to you. I uh, says, shout-out to Luna and your aunt, hope they're both doing better. Uh, thank you for that. Luna, you know, she's still on her medication. It's going to be for the rest of her life with her heart problem, but uh, better than the alternative of not even knowing about it. And we haven't heard anything about my aunt lately, so to me, no news is good news. So to me, that's always a good thing. Uh, Mr. Comics 89 good to see you. Got one of his personal grails the other day. Hopefully you guys will check out his channel and see what he got. Uh, Jake is here, Huff House um, Art, Mark, Matt, Ruben, James, Herbert, Brian, welcome all, Gorilla Grodd, always good to see you guys, and I got a great unboxing I want to do for you guys. Now, while I'm waiting for a couple more people to come in, I just want to um, always mention to people, you may or may not be familiar with the fact that I am selling some of my comics, Yola says hello. Now, obviously, not my complete collection, just my duplicates. I'm doing it in the form of mystery boxes. If you're interested in those, just go to the description all the way at the bottom. That will give you all the information you need. So John's here. I like donuts. And who doesn't like donuts? That's all I have to say. Uh, Venom Beast is here. Chet is here. So let me put on the video camera so you could see the unboxing. Now, um, there we go. There we go. Hello, everybody. Now, this is a DC book. It's a, it's, I don't know if it's considered a grail, but it's definitely a mega key book. It's a first appearance of a major character in the DC universe. And um, I had this on my 2016 uh, wish list. Obviously, it's 2019, which means it took over three years for me to finally get this book. So that's one of the reasons why I always instill in people, you know, even if you have your own personal grail or a comic you're looking for, don't give up and, you know, it can take time because of the fact that when you give up, you know you fail. So make sure, you know, you keep trying. Now, this one bothered me in the sense of with the seller, they charged me tax, which really brought up the price and the fact that this seller was on Long Island. I live on Long Island. And they didn't, I said to them, you know, I could go there, pay cash, which would save you PayPal fees, and it would save me a little money. They refused to do it. And they said, because they said it's going against eBay policy. And I'm like, no, it, it's not, because there is no mandatory requirement to have to use PayPal when you win an auction on eBay, because they're no longer the same company. So you can pay cash, you could pay money order, you could pay check. But they refused to do it. You know, I can understand if they just wanted to be polite about it, but they were pretty rude. So I would never purchase from these people again. Plus the fact they charged me $15 for shipping. It only cost them 10 Because, you know, it was literally I could have ran to this store. So, I mean, considering it did bring the price up, but it was a book I've always wanted. Um, who knows if this character will... Well... If DC continues to go on the path that they're going, uh, this character could be in a movie, and I would love to see this character. So you'll know it as soon as you see it. So if you want to make some predictions, you can. Now, this is a book I've never had before. So Matt says Supergirl. I actually have two of her first appearance already. So this would be a book I've never owned in my life, and one that I've always wanted. I missed out auction after auction, or the price was just too high. Um, it just, this was one of those auctions, this was a, another one of my White Whale, uh, kind of comics, but if you don't give up, you keep trying, you will end up succeeding. It's just how patient and how much work are you willing to do, and remember, once you give up, you're guaranteed to fail. Um, what is it, Autumn Dog Comics says, don't understand why some sellers charge tax on a comic book, crazy. Yeah, I was not happy about that, because I went from underpaying this book 
to um, overpaying by about $25, which, you know, you can't win them all. But if this character ever ends up in a movie, this book will skyrocket. So I, I worry about long term. And um, one of the reasons why I'm selling my duplicates of comics is because my wife and I want to move. I've already discussed this with most people. So what I'm doing is, is any of the money I've made from the proceeds, I'm actually buying these other comics that are more of higher value. So I guess, uh, well, I guess. So when I sell them, um, it's going to be easier to make a little profit to buy the house. So we've narrowed it down. I have an idea of where I want to move, but I'm not going to say until we officially find something and decide to move. Like I said, that's probably going to be at least a year from now because you can't rush these things. But here is the back of the book. This is a CGC graded book. Let's see if anybody can guess it just based on the back. And this is a first appearance of a well-known DC character. And here we go. Here is the comic that I have wanted for a long time. Took me three years to get it. But as they say, better late than never. And it is Action Comics 242, which is the first appearance of Brainiac. Now to me, this is a character, like if you saw that video game um, that they did, I think a, like two or three years ago, with the uh, DC Heroes... And they had him as the main villain. I mean, he looked awesome the way they portrayed him in that video game. If anybody knows the title of that video game, post it in the comment section or live here. But this is um, creamed off-white pages. First appearance of Brainiac. The rest is irrelevant. But you can see it's got some color-breaking creases and stuff. But, you know, that's definitely uh, okay for a lower grade. Now, here's the thing as far as the price was. I paid $760 for this book when I won it, which would have been under what it was valued as. But because of the taxes that they charged me, it came out to $841.83. So that's actually a little bit above what the going rate is for this book, according to GoCollect.com. But um, this is one of those books, you know, it's going to continue to rise. And like I said, if Brainiac ever ends up in a movie... Which would be awesome because, you know, Darkseid and, and um, Brainiac would be two characters I would love to see as villains in the DC Universe. I think they'll take time. I think the last one would be, you know, Darkseid. I would love to see him, especially the version they did in that video game. I would love to see this character as a um, live-action villain. But to me, this is such a great cover. Hard to get in high grade because of the deep purple. Basically shows everything as far as every little bend and fold and color pre crease. So, I mean, it's a lower graded book. Like I've said so many times, low grade is better than no grade. So I am very happy about this. This is definitely an investment comic. Um, I don't know if this is like considered a grail or anything like that, but it's definitely a mega key book and a very hard book to get. Trust me, I've been trying for three years to get this book. And um, if it wasn't for the fact that they charged me so much with the shipping and handling and taxes, it would have been even a better deal. But it is what it is. I've learned my lesson with that seller and I will not buy from them again, especially the way they talk to me. Because, you know, I guess they don't understand eBay's policies. And then they were just very rude with some of their comments. I mean, you know, if you want to say it's your business, you have the right to say, well, I'd prefer to be doing through eBay. I can understand that. But you don't have to be rude about it. So, unfortunately, there are some people that are that way. So, I still finally got this book. It's a book I've been trying to get since 2016. This is why I keep trying to encourage people, don't give up on things that you want. It may take time. You may lose auction after auction. You may see an auction that you say, well, there's no way I can bid because it's already too high. You know, don't worry about the failures. Worry about the success. Because let me put it to you this way. Do you think right now I care about all the times I failed getting this book? And I probably tried 30 different option, uh, auctions to get this book. And others that I didn't even bother to try because the price was way too high. Do you think I care about that right now? Or do you think I'm happy with the fact that I own it? So don't focus on the negative. Don't focus on the fact that, oh, I haven't gotten it or you miss out on an auction. You know, for every auction you miss, there's going to be 50 more. So if it takes you 51 to get it, 
better late than never. So I've seen some people that are finally starting to take their time with it. Um, and they're finally starting to achieve their goals. So I had another one where I got a video yesterday or the day before of a first as well. So I hope you check that out if you haven't yet. Um, I won't mention it here. I want you to watch it. But um, I've been recently starting to get books that I've been trying to find or acquire for years. So it does take time and patience, but you will achieve if you continue to stay positive and do the work. So that is the book. I want to thank you guys. I'll obviously have more videos coming. So just in case of you coming in, this is Action Comics 242, first appearance of Brainiac, CGC 2.5. Low grade is better than no grade. I'm very happy with this because as of now, I didn't have the enough funds to buy a 9.8. So, this is the next best thing. So, before I go, I always do the surprise subscriber shout-out. Uh, today, we're going to give it to the, un -Kyle, um, the Uncanny Kyla Waka, all the way from, I believe, Australia, but I could be wrong about that. Correct me if I am. To each and every one of you, I appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos, and any of you that are kind enough to give it a thumbs up. It does help support my channel and get it out there. And uh, don't forget, if you're looking to get any of my packages for my comics that I'm selling, um, the link is in the description. Hopefully you'll check it out. I've had overall some pretty good positive reviews from the people that have purchased them. So thanks for listening, everybody. Love you all. Hope you have a great day. Don't give up on your collection. Stay positive. Work hard. And don't forget, it's not you. It's not I. It is we love comics. I'll see you guys next video. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. You're like weird. You're like a potato. I didn't say you were a potato. I said you're like a potato. Why don't you goddamn listen? Why don't you goddamn listen? Well, then you're married to a potato.